I, I mean, I understand her, her perspective. And certainly as our, our premier, I mean, she's obviously obligated to do, to use the tools at her disposal to try to, you know, try and put pressure on British Columbia. I mean, it's, it's vastly important to Alberta's economy and Canada's economy. I mean, like it or not, and whatever your, you know, your position is on the environment, and I think most people are, you know, for the environment, obviously, but, you know, you have to try and strike a balance between what's good for the country and, and where we are. You know, I understand, the, um, you know, the perspective in BC that they, you know, they have concerns about the impact of a, of, of a pipeline line um, but so uh, you know but to, up to this up to this stage it's really been sort of lip service I mean there's you know both our prime minister and, and premier have both said that they're you know uh, the pipelines going ahead of course you know at, that, at this stage it's just lip service so she's now done something you know concrete a start um, to, to, to try and you know put pressure on British Columbia is it going to make a difference I mean my, my concern I guess is that it's going to hurt the winemakers more than it's going to hurt anybody else winemakers are effectively farmers I mean it's a, it's a it's an agricultural product and like so many trade disputes you know the farmer gets sort of caught in the middle they're the ones who will who, you know who'll lose sales you know the smaller producers in British Columbia won't be impacted they can sell everything they make at cellar door into the restaurant trade in Vancouver the mid to larger producers I mean it's as they said in the CBC uh, news piece earlier, it's about a seventy million dollars in sales exported to Alberta annually. That's significant. I mean, that'll you know that'll make an impact. I think the bigger impact is going to probably be on things like wine tourism. You know, the, the tourism industry in general in the summertime is probably going to pay a fairly hefty price in BC if this continues.